same it's the same thing. You got to win. You got to win. You got to win. Right. Talk about, you know, you get the first game out of the box, and you got to win to keep your hopes alive. Absolutely, and you know the kids embrace that. Coaches embrace that. Uh, we understand the position that we're in. Uh, it's great to be playing for something in week 11, and not just you know getting ready to push stuff up. So uh, we understand we need some help, but the biggest thing we can do is win on Thursday, and that's the thing that we can control. And so that's what we've spent our focus on this week. Even, even though it was a loss against Emerald High, there's so much to be to take out of that right. game to be proud of. I mean, that you can build on going up against Randall, too, yeah? Yes, uh, you know, really proud of the kids last week. Uh, we asked them to play for 48 minutes, and they did. Uh, felt like the coaches coached for 48 minutes. You know, we didn't let go of the rope the entire time. Uh, felt like, you know, we were in some positions where we could have made the game a little more interesting than we did. Uh, made some mistakes on special teams. Uh, but, you know, it's all a part of having a young football team. And, and so we took that as uh, took the positives from it. Hopefully we fixed the things that we didn't do so well and hopefully it'll help us this week. Well, if you've got a plan, let me know. But, uh, I mean, honestly, what we've got to do is just commit hats to the football. And, uh, you know, we can't commit too many to the line of scrimmage because, you know, Knicks can throw the ball really well and they've got good wide receivers. So the key for us is tackling. We've got to fit our gaps and then we've got to get 11 hats to the football once we've determined that he has it. Uh, he's a special player, uh, but, you know, Randall's offensive line is tremendous. You know, uh, Coach Selman does a good job. You know, that's kind of his bread and butter. He's an offensive line guy. He knows how to get it coached and uh, they do really, really well with it. You know, I'm I'm very optimistic. You know, I, I feel like we've crossed some barriers. You know that uh, that were in front of us. Felt like the resiliency of the team was tested week in week out, and and they've come through on the other side better. You know, I think no matter what happens on Thursday night, we've got something positive to build on for the years to come. Uh, but it sure would be nice to speed it up a little bit. Chris, as a North Sider, exciting to be playing for stuff this time of year. It's been a while since that's happened over college. Absolutely, and, and you know that's why I'm here. You know, I, I was brought here to 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 do these types of things, and uh, you know, it's it, and it's not me. It's the great staff that I have. It's the community support that I have, and then these kids, these kids that have, you know really fought through the adversity. Uh, we had a tough non-district schedule, uh, but they didn't let it affect them when it came time for district. And, you know, they fought hard. We've been in every game that we've played, uh, and, and I think that's a step in the right direction. But, you know, we were brought here to get teams into the playoffs, and hopefully, you know, we can do that this week.